All information in a computer is stored as binary data because a computer is made up of switches which can either be open, representing a zero, or closed, representing a one. So all data in a computer must be encoded in binary. With text, we do this through the use of character sets. Character sets are a defined list of characters and symbols with associated binary codes. There are different character sets that your computer can use, but the two most common are ASCII and Unicode. So for example, here you can see all of the basic uppercase letters and their matching binary code, also known as character code, in the ASCII character set. You can see how these character codes are sequentially ordered. A is 01000001, 65 in decimal, while B is 01000010, 66 in decimal. This is true for other parts of the character set, like lowercase letters and numbers, there is a logical order to them. ASCII uses 7 bits to represent each character. This means it can represent 128 different characters. This allows ASCII to handle things like uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and common symbols from the English language. We also have extended ASCII, which uses 8 bits and can store 256 different characters and allows us to represent many other symbols. However, if we wanted to represent lots of other different letters, for example Russian or Chinese characters, we would need to use Unicode. There are actually three different Unicode character sets. These are UTF-8, which can use between 8 and 32 bits, UTF-16, which can use between 16 and 32 bits, and UTF-32, which can use 32 bits. Using 32 bits means that Unicode can represent a massive number of characters, 1,114,112 different characters in fact, which means it can represent all the different characters from around the world. However, this does mean it could cause large file sizes, as you could be using 32 bits of data for every single character rather than just 8 bits. If we know the character set used, we can calculate the file size of a text file very simply. It's a simple equation. Text file size equals bits per character multiplied by number of characters. To get the file size in a more useful format though, we would then need to divide the result by 8, which gives us the total number of bytes, and then divide the total number of bytes by 1024 to get the file size in kilobytes. So if we had a text file with 55,000 characters and it's using the 7-bit ASCII character set, then 55,000 multiplied by 7 equals 385,000. 385,000 divided by 8 equals 48,125 bytes. 48,125 divided by 1024 equals 47 kilobytes. Much like with characters, images are stored as binary too. The simplest form of image is the concept of a bitmap. A bitmap is exactly what it implies. It's a map of bits of different color. By a map we basically mean a grid, where each square is called a pixel and can have a different color. Let's look at a simple bitmap where a zero is black and a one is white. If we were to look at this as a binary sequence, it would be 10001111111011011011001. If we were to look at this image on screen, it would look like this. So each cell, or pixel, just needs one bit of data to store black and white. But what if we wanted to store more colors? Let's say we wanted to store four colors. We would need two bits. For example, 00, 0 equals black, 0, 01 equals blue, 10 equals green, and 11 1 equals white. So you can see how the number of bits used for each pixel will affect how many colors we can use to make our image, and this is what is known as color depth. Rather than one or two bits though, it's more common to have 8-bit, 16-bit, or even 24-bit color depth. If we had 8 bits, we could store 256 different colors. With 16 bits, we can store 65,536 colors. And 24 bits would allow us to use 16,777,216 different colors, which is known as true color. 
The greater the color depth of an image, the better quality the image will be. An 8-bit image using only 256 different colors would never be able to show the subtle shades of colors we would need and so the image would look of poor quality. But 24 bits gives us enough color to show real life quality images. However, a greater color depth means more data per pixel, so file sizes will be much larger. Another factor that will affect the quality and file size of an image is its resolution. This is the number of pixels in your image. You see, the grid that makes up our image can be of different sizes. For example, our grid might be 8 pixels wide by 5 pixels high, or it could be 16 pixels wide by 10 pixels high, though normally it would be much larger, such as 1024 by 768 pixels. A higher resolution will mean that your image will be of better quality, as there will be more pixels being used to make up your image. We can actually very simply calculate the effect that color depth and resolution has on the file size of our image. We simply perform the following steps. Multiply the horizontal pixels by the vertical pixels of our image. This gives us the total pixels. Multiply the total pixels by the color depth. This gives us the total number of bits. Divide the total number of bits by 8. This gives us the total number of bytes of data to store the image. We could then divide the total number of bytes by 1024 to get the file size in kilobytes. So if we had a 640 by 480 image and a 24 bit color depth, then 640 multiplied by 480 equals 307,200 pixels. 307,200 multiplied by 24 equals 7,372,800 bits. 7,372,800 divided by 8 equals 921,600 bytes. 921,600 divided by 1,024 equals 900 kilobytes. So, all text and images are represented as binary data. 127 characters are represented as ASCII codes. If you want other characters from other languages, Unicode is used. Bitmap graphics store images as a grid of pixels. The number of bits of data per pixel is the color depth. The greater the color depth, the more different colors your image can have. The number of pixels in rows and columns is the resolution of the image. You can calculate the size of a text file by multiplying the bits per character by the number of characters. You can calculate the size of an image file by multiplying the resolution by the color depth. 